Oh, if I had to use one word. Amazing. Mesmerizing. Cool. Cold. Toasty. Savage. Brutal. Bleak. Biking. Brilliant. I'd just say it's awesome. The British Antarctic Survey is the UK's uh, scientific representation um, in the polar regions. Everybody who works there is aware that what we are doing is um, really important science and research that's going to help the planet. Rothera is the research station for Bass that's uh, about two thirds of the way down the Antarctic Peninsula. We're working on our Antarctic Modernization Project, which is um, a 10 year program. We've got this amazing new science ship coming in, the RRS Sir David Attenborough, uh, and it needs facilities so that we can use it sort of safely and effectively in Antarctica. The birthing phase of the new wharf is longer and in deeper water than the original wharf and it needed to be so in order to accommodate this larger vessel, the SDA. It's quite important that we maintain a facility that's world class. It keeps us ahead of the game. Our whole model is based on a collaborative partnership. As Bass, we are the client or the employer, BAM are the contractor, and as our technical advisor, Rambo sit on our side of the contract. Sweco uh, joined as, as BAM's design partner. We're all working as one team. They trust us to look after their people. We trust them to do the job right. So we spent about um, a year in the office in Cambridge with Bass, uh, a few of us in the BAM team, uh, looking at all the different options. And uh, the one that we thought was, was the best option and Bass agreed with was to dismantle the existing wharf. So the key activities in this, the second season, were firstly to remobilise all our team. The remainder of the rear frames were completed, which then facilitated the installation of the front frames, the tie rods. We could then install um, sheet piles around it and then fill it with rock and um, that completed the wharf, essentially. Delivering infrastructure projects in Antarctica is quite a risky endeavour. They're far away, they're difficult to get to, they have short seasons, the weather can be terrible. One of the ways that we dealt with the risks of these challenges was by our approach to digital construction. We built it digitally, challenging and verifying the design as necessary before we went to site and the result was that they were right. We brought about 50 plus construction workers to Rothera. It raised the number of people we have here on station by about 50%. and um, So we're running for a lot of the season at about 160 people at Rothera. We've all come together really well uh, and worked fantastically together. And also getting on with the, the guys on station, the bass, the scientists. Um, you know, we were one big community. Favourite memory? My favourite memory is New Year's. Burns night, that was a good night. I have uh, hundreds of famous moments. I managed to climb Reptile Ridge. Well, I've done snowboarding in that for the first time. Just this morning I saw two humpback whales. Once in a lifetime experience to come down here. To finish the wharf, yeah, it's a big achievement. We've spent two seasons and now the wharf's finished and we've got the first ship berth behind us, which is uh, fantastic for all the team to see. Rodder Wharf is a great civil engineering project and by assembling the right team of people uh, we were able to deliver this project right on programme. We've worked safely, we've worked to programme and to budget. It's my thanks and admiration to everybody for that. We have ticked every single box on Rodder Wharf and that's a great achievement.